Hola, hello. Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Today I'm going to be doing a string pull. So our paint, this is my white acrylic Mexican paint that I have. And I've mixed it with the magic ingredient that I brought in my suitcase, the DecoArt Americana Satin Enamel in Pure White. But equal parts paint and that, and some Floatrol and some glue and water and so many other things in here. But the other thing is the magic ingredient, which I found a tiny little container in my art bag. OGX hair serum. I don't have the original bottle. I literally have just a few drops left of this. It's so sad, but I have silicone coming. So this is the silicone. If you don't have OGX hair serum, use whatever silicone you use for making cells. So I put a few drops of that in there, and this is going to be the white that I use for the string pull. The other paints that I'm using are the ones that I've mixed with my Floatrol glue all in water, some light blue, some dark blue, and these are my uh, Pinto metallic paints from Mexico. I have some green, some blue, and my Deco Art 24 karat gold that I have mixed in here. That's what I'm gonna use for the C. So I'm just gonna put the whole base coat down of these mixed blues, and then we're gonna do the string pull and see what happens. With any luck, we'll get it right. So let me do the background, and here we go. So I'm just going to pour it down right here, and this will be where we can put our string. Just making ourselves a little puddle, and we can always put more there. But for now, just enough to get the string wet. It's long enough, I need a little bit more. All right, string, paint, oops. Stuck to my glove. I've used these gloves twice. They're getting a little sticky. Okay, back in there. Here we go. And I'm going to use this to get it covered. Ding, 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 ding. Somebody made a comment. Thank you for the comment. So here's our first string. Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna start on the bottom here. So let's pull the string around and can we make a wave out of it? We sort of did. Do another. I just wiped off the string to reuse it because it really didn't have a lot of blue on it. So we will put it right beside and do another. Well, now it's just foam. I don't think I'm tackling this the right way. Just a bunch of foam now. We've completely kind of lost whatever wave there might have been, haven't we? It should have been more blue. I should have started with it up there. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to think about how to fix this. How 
to fix this. Two hands for one. Okay, now it's just a mess. So as uh, you guys know from watching me before, I'm not going to just scrape this canvas because it didn't work. Let's uh, use this beautiful blue paint to make a base coat and do something new with it. Let's still keep the string pull going though because, you know, I have the paint. Let's use it. So let's put this on a turntable so that we can get a different angle on it. And here we go. Because there's no point in walking away when there's such beautiful paint on the canvas. Let's do something with it. And if it doesn't look good, guess what? Then we toss it. But what if it looks good? Then we've got it. There wasn't such a pile of paint there, I would quit right now. There is so much paint in the middle, there's no way that that is going to dry properly. But that just looks so cool. I so want to leave it like that, but I cannot. We cannot leave it like that, even though we want to. Okay. Let's see how much paint is there. See, that's a lot. We have to remove that some way. Let's pull another string. I only did the edge of the string that time. I didn't do the whole length of it. So I'm trying to move some of that paint out from the middle. And so we could be here all day trying to get that puddle out of the middle. I don't have all day and I'm sure you don't either. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow off this extra paint. And then we'll do another one. Now the puddle at least has moved. We'll blow the excess paint over the side. Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks kind of groovy, actually. Ooh, I almost want to leave that. But we're not. We'll do one more string pull. Now that that big puddle has moved. We're no longer dealing with excess paint, or at least less. So let's see what we can do now. So I'm just going to continue with this particular method of blowing off this excess base coat paint and doing the string pull with the white and silicone blend. In hindsight, I think I would have definitely put a lot less base coat down. But because this is, you know, kind of a save, it's one of those situations where you work with what you have. And we had a lot of beautiful blue paint and there was just too much for this technique. Blowing it off was the solution, and it took an awful long time. This is why I'm fast forwarding through this whole segment, because this probably took about half an hour of blowing off paint and doing string pulls and, you know, the whole rigmarole of how it's done. But I really like the way that it turned out. And if there was less base coat on it, it wouldn't have came out this way. The white would have been much more prominent, much more crisp, and it would have looked beautiful but it would not have looked like this. And so that's what you need to remember is when you're trying different amounts of paint too. It really does affect your final product. So while it may take you longer, it might be worth it. For those of you who wonder why I didn't just leave the puddles of paint, it definitely would have cracked. And some people like the cracked paint. They think it's an interesting feature. It's not something that I particularly care for. So I always try and have the right consistency on my paint and the right amount left on the canvas so that it does not crack and it dries beautifully. And this one dried absolutely gorgeous. So let's just uh, continue. I'll show you the last little string pull here in proper speed. And uh, here we go, finishing off this lovely experiment. Okay, I think it is done. I am not swiping anymore, no more puffy paint, everything's getting put away. Let's see what happens when it's dry. It was a little epic, there should have been a thinner base coat, but you know when you're trying new things, this is how you learn. You do some epic nonsense, and then you make some notes and find out what happened. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll show you the dried one at the end of the video, and uh, go experiment. Have fun, try new things, paint something, enjoy your art. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. So let's just do a little video by the pool again. Look at the puffy. The satin enamel mixed with that silicone. That does some magical, magical stuff when you do a string pull. And so there we go. Can't wait to see how this looks when it dries. Be right back.